Hello and welcome to this session. In this session of test project, we will learn about adaptive weights. We will learn what is adaptive weight and how to use adaptive weight in test in test project. So let's get started. Let us first learn what is adaptive weight. Whenever we work with our applications, we have a basic concept of request and response and this request and response happen between two applications. You can think of one application as a client and the other application as a server or it can also be between two services. So the client sends a request and the server or another service sends back the response and there is some time which is consumed between this communication and this time can vary. Now to compensate or to consider this time of communication in our tests, we can add some wait time between two steps or two actions. And generally, we will know that how much time on an average our actions or application take and we can add the wait time accordingly. Now this may work most of the times. However, there can be situations when there is very low network or maybe some other issues and the time taken is very long and at other times this communication can be very fast. Now to compensate for the extra time that the communication can take, we can add an extra wait time which will work. However, it will be an overhead for testing as it will increase the duration of testing. Now this time of communication as I said can vary due to network configuration, bandwidth, location, resources, etc. And if we have to compensate for all this, we have to have longer wait times which is not very much recommended and can slow the process of testing and is not very efficient. The answer to this is adaptive weight. So adaptive weight is a smart weight which is built into test project and it adapts to the application speed or the loading pace of the application and in simple words it will wait for the next element to appear to take action on it. So here between two actions, if we have adaptive weight, it will wait for the element to appear before it takes action on it. And if you are familiar or if you have worked with Selenium, it is like a implicit weight in Selenium. So let us see a demo and let us see how adaptive weight works. I will go to my test project and I have already logged in and I can go to any of the existing tests. I am going to my web project and here, uh, let us say I will go to this file upload demo test case you can go to any of your test case and here if you go to any of the step for example if i click on this step it opens these details and here if i scroll down you will see here we have an adaptive weight section so here is where you can set the time for adaptive weight and by default it is 15 seconds and it is shown in milliseconds here and it is taken by the default adaptive weight of the test. So if you go to the test and go to these three dots here and go to settings, here you will see the default adaptive weight. So this adaptive weight time, which is 15 seconds by default, will be used in all the steps until you use a different adaptive time for a particular step. For example, uh, if I go to this particular step, I can go to the adaptive weight section and here I can change this to any other number. Now this is the maximum wait time that is 15 seconds. As soon as we find the next element that we have to take action on within 15 seconds, it will take the action and go to the next step and will not wait unnecessarily. And 15 seconds is the maximum time. So we can decide this time as per our application speed or the network and resources. Now there is also explicit weight. If you go to any of the steps, you will find this step pause here. So this is where you can do some explicit weight or you can do some hard weight times. You can add some hard weight times. For example, you can see here it is using the test default pause time. However, if you want, you can add your own wait times here. If you want to add before this action or after this action, you can add this. So you can use a combination of explicit weight and adaptive weights as per your needs. And this will help a lot in avoiding unnecessary failure of the test. Now, in addition to this, 
you can also use some add-ons if I go to the add-ons section here and go to the community add-ons and if I just search for visible elements here is a add-on visible elements operation this add-on provides a feature or capability to do action or to perform action only if the element is visible and here these are the actions which are available if visible check if visible all this you can use and this will help a lot in making more durable test cases now in case you are using SDKs and you are writing your own code you can still use adaptive weights and here is a blog about adaptive weight I will provide this link in the description below this video here you can read all about adaptive weights and here we have how you can use it in the SDK so here you can see we have this driver dot set timeout 15 seconds or whatever time you want to enter here this is how you can use and this is the implicit weight or the adaptive weight in test project so this is how you can use adaptive weights in test project I hope this session was very useful for you you can try out some examples and let me know if you face any issues I will meet you in the next episode of test project thank you for watching